friends and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be doing soul food egg rolls or at least my rendition of them here's all the spices that i used as well as a red and green bell pepper white onion ground beef and egg roll wrappers so basically this is my recipe i'm not claiming anybody else's recipe this is mine um, basically what you want to do is slice up your veggies and that's both the bell peppers as well as the onion and I was going to use the holy trinity but something in me just told me not to put celery and egg roll like I don't know it just didn't sit right with my spirit so I'll just like I'll use two different versions of a bell pepper and I don't care what anyone says you can taste the difference between a green bell pepper which is more savory and a red or yellow bell pepper which is more sweet so took a play off of that basically what I'm doing is chopping them up trying to get them to a small consistency just because no one nobody likes big chunks of things or at least I don't in my egg rolls plus I wanted to get them all around the same size so they would cook evenly um, another thing that I would use in this looking back and when I make them again I will be adding cheese um, I, at this point in time if you can tell by the surroundings I was in my old house in a bad situation cooking for someone who didn't deserve it anyway so moving forward, when I make these again, I'll probably definitely be putting cheese in them. This is me just putting the, and you know what y'all, I do not like ground beef in the tube thing. I don't know why, I just don't care for it. I prefer it in the regular, you know, styrofoam plastic. I know it's probably better in that other thing as far as not using plastic. I just don't like the way it comes out. I don't know, it bothers me. Anyway, so this is me seasoning. Y'all know I'm heavy handed on the seasoning. I do not measure, you know, I measure by dashes and scoops. And there is a big heaping helping of garlic. Y'all know I love me some garlic. So I was heavy handed with that as well. But that's how the meat should look. I didn't cook it hard as far as all the way through because it is going to be fried in these wrappers. So I just sauteed it till it was halfway done. The first one did not come out great. As you can see, it's already coming loose, but this was my first go around. I would also suggest when you make these or if you make these, make sure your meat is completely cooled. That's something I would do differently. As you can see, the steam is coming up. I did not let the meat cool. And I think that the wrappers were affected by that and they would have stayed a little tighter had I waited for the meat or whatever you're gonna fill your egg rolls with to cool down. I think they would have just stayed together more nicely. Um, I did end up putting an egg wash on them to keep them together. I didn't want to, but I had to because they kept coming apart. And then I just put them in a shallow pan of oil. You can see them there. They were some big boys, okay? They were big boys. And here is the final result. They came out really good. Like I said, next go around, I will be putting cheese. And those are my rendition of a soul food egg roll. Until next time, guys. Bye.